Yo, yo, it's Big Ant, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV. Y'all know what it is, man. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times. We had to come tap back in one more time with OG Percy, man. If you tapped into the last one, you know this was a highly requested again. And a lot of feedback came from the first one, man. So, uh, you know, people was really enjoying the story. Okay. The, uh, the everything you was saying, the picture you was painting for them, <clears throat> and everything like that there. So we're going to get right into it. They know what's going on already. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, how you okay. been, man? Okay, 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 yeah. okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, man, we're going to kick it right. We're going to get right down in there, man. Get in there. Start digging. Uh, <laughs> one thing that I read through the comments, man, this is coming from the people watching. A lot of people was questioning the booty bandit story. Hmm. I saw a couple Let's people, go. I saw Let's a couple go. people, you know, I did time before, and uh -huh. this uh -huh. is what they were saying. I did time before, okay. that ain't going on in there, man. He just talking about <laughs> the booty bandits ain't real. The booty bandits ain't this or that, man. These hmm. dudes ain't that. I saw that a little bit on there, man. So when somebody tell you the booty bandits and stuff like that ain't a real thing that's going on, what you got? what's your response to that? It's sad. They don't get the picture yet. And you know, it's, it's cold blooded when the signs say stop, they stop. You hear me? When they see the sign, it say stop, they stop. But when you tell somebody to stop, they don't, they don't, they just keep going. They keep going. Well, um, the sad thing I why, why I say it's sad because some of them that don't believe it end up in that position and find out that he wasn't lying. You hear me? Um, What's sad about it, they'll get down there, and the same one say, man, oh, that ain't going on down there. But say, you know, you'll never know until you're there. You understand me? And the sad thing about that, when you're there, it's too late. You're going to find out he wasn't lying. Now, nah, man, it's one thing, uh, uh, urban politics, man, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm not finna, uh, lie about that. That ain't nothing to play with. That's a serious story. Uh, I recommend this. I'm going to tell y'all, let me tell y'all something. Uh, right here on um, on Urban, right here, man, on my boy. She, uh, I believe they need. We need to write a petition for them to start allowing condoms to be in the units. That's how much that shit going on, niggas, ladies, <laughs> gentlemen, <laughs> non-believers. Uh, a lot of a lot of these kids come home with AIDS. Y'all know nothing about it. A lot of a lot of these niggas come home quiet. Y'all know nothing about it. Um, you, 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 you won't, it's, it's a big old rat on the wall when you come inside the penitentiary. Uh, and the rat got a big sack in his hand. On that sack it says extortion. Uh, zero tolerance on extortion. Uh, that's why they got him numb believing that that shit don't happen down there. Uh, that rat don't mean shit. Uh, if the law meant something to niggas in the penitentiary, why the fuck are they in the penitentiary? Come on, man. They don't get it. <laughs> yeah. If the law meant something to them, shit, why they in there? That rat don't mean shit. Extortion continues. This is the way of life inside this place. Man, um, tales from a crib, man. Right here on, on, on urban politics, man. Politicians. Let's say, check this out, man. Um, I was in prison one time, and um, I got a call to the office. <clears throat> when, I caught, when I got a call to the office, I walked inside the office, man. I seen the warden sitting there. I seen the captain sitting there. Um, I seen the major, the the, um, the colonel, all of them sitting right here in the line. I was like, God damn. And now so when I walked in, I seen two free world police right here. And then I seen two free world detectives. So when I walked in, I'm like, what the fuck going on? You know, um, I thought it was something because, you know, how I be carrying on that motherfucker. <laughs> it be something. They done busted up the gang hit. But um, when I walked in, man, um, that they told me stand there in the, in the warden, in the captain, the warden and the captain proceeded to talk. He said, Mr. Jimmy, we got some gentlemen here from outside the world. They want to talk to you, you understand me? And uh, I just need you to listen to them. I'm like, what's up? And then the, 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 the um, detective started talking. He walked up on me. He said, um, Mr. Jimerson, he said, um, before I get to talking, I said, I'd like to tell you, you got the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be with you. I said, wait, hold on, man. Wait, wait, what's, what's going on, warden? What's going on? She said, won't you just listen to what he has to say? 
Hey, but he read me my motherfucking rights. I know what though. That means I got another charge pin. I got another case. Some they don't read you your rights unless there's something new going on. You right dig what I'm saying? So I caught on off the back. So I'm asking them what's going on. I'm already here. You understand me? So um, uh, he went to talk. He said, Mr. Dempsey, we got a guy, man. You, you know this guy right here? He showed me a picture. I'm, nah, I don't know that nigga. I don't know him. He said, we did an investigation, man. This guy right here made, made allegations saying that you've been having him raped. Raped. He said he's been raped at the church. He's been raped on the back dock. He's been raped in the laundry house. And he said that you got the Crips raping him everywhere he go. <laughs> uh, so there's been charges put on you. You understand me? Uh, gang representation. You know what I'm saying? Crime. So I'm like, man, what? I said, wait, hold on, hold on. I say, wait, time out, time out. I ain't the smartest mother in the world, but I've been this penitentiary too mother long. If anything like that was happening inside this mother, these two right here would be the first to come to me with it. Huh, the warden and the captain, you hear me? Yeah. Not, not no free world. How did shit even get outside the cage? Yeah. You dig what I'm saying? Gotcha. Uh, but these things do happen. You dig what I'm saying? Uh, that picture was painted daily. Uh, I was called back in by another one. Uh, I said that to say this, man. Uh, They'll use any way to get away, the ones that it happens to. Um, if they find a guy, everybody know what I'm talking about when they say they got a thing that are called transit. Transit is a place where they lock up the inmates that's been sexually abused. Uh, got to get away. Uh, can't handle the pressure. Too many niggas after this. <laughs> yeah. They can't live around them men. Yeah, it's called, you know, for y'all that don't believe me, um, don't believe me. Do your own homework. Study to show that self approval. You hear me? Yeah. So, Study for yourself. So I'm saying that to say this. Um, look up transit. Transit is a place for the guys that this happen to daily. Uh, what I mean daily, I mean new ones come in there daily. She, if they ain't cut their neck, if they ain't committed suicide, never by now. Uh, if they ain't gave in. Yeah. Uh. I told you, Timothy ain't Timothy. He Timothy in the word Tiffany behind bars. You run into him, dude, 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 dude. Tim! Look, look. Look, it's Tim. Tim, my nigga Tim right there. Tim, yo nigga. Tim been kicking with you since he came home from the penitentiary. Tim been around since Tim came back. Nigga tatted up, tattoo tears. Nigga got his neck hit up. Take his body out and shit flexed up. Nigga looking good. He got the part. He played the part. <clears throat> That's the game. Keep playing your part, nigga. That's your part, that's your job, nigga. <laughs> to look hard. Niggas practice that in there. They practice before they come home. They gotta get their man back. They manhood back. Yeah, these niggas stand in the mirror all day while they down there paying attention on their way to the house to y'all old niggas. And all y'all niggas out here in society that think them niggas square business. Niggas been down there getting mama her hard earned money, working hard. She go to work every day, ain't in them, sister them, the kids. Yeah, they send it to him thinking he's square business. That nigga down there paying for protection. Yeah. You wonder why he need this, need that, he, and he gotta have it. He better have it. See, Uncle Bud ain't gonna play it. Big Bud ain't playing that in the city. Bud ain't playing that. Get that money, nigga. Yeah, your mama work? Yeah, he know what time you go. He won't, the nigga selling no more about the family than you do. You understand me? Shit, he can come home and tell you, I know about all y'all. How you, yeah, you Jim, that, that must be your Uncle John right there. Oh, that must be the kids. Uh, Jim, Timothy, little Tracy, that nigga got him. How the nigga know all that? Shit, cause he been there fucking shit out your little nephew. Your little cousin. Your little homeboy. Yeah, and they came home. Oh, y'all call him Timothy. Tim. What? Hell no, nah, not Tim. Nigga, he ain't want no Tim. Nigga, you got me fucked up. Not Tim. Yeah, Tim, yeah, he here to see Tim. Nigga, knocked on the window. He ain't got there. Yeah, come to get it, come to get it, come to get his bitch back. Even in the world. Y'all wonder why a lot of these niggas come home and hang together. Come on, man. Y'all better pay up and continue. I'm not hanging with them from the plantation. You can't hang around me. I don't want you around me, nigga. I was like this. My, I ain't let my Sally sit in the house. Bitch, get out here until it's time for me to leave. When it's time for me to go to work, you can come back in this hole. Don't come sit around me, nigga. I don't like dick sitting around me. You hear me? That's how I was when I came home. And I'm still like that today. Unless you my partner, buddy, and pal. I don't fuck these niggas. Let no nigga been to the penitentiary. If you been to prison, I'm trying to get around niggas that got some education, doing something with their life and going this way, not that way. I just came from down there. I'm trying to go work and sit behind some shit like urban politician and shit, you know what I'm saying? Get my shit up. 
But anyway, back to the story at hand. Uncle Bud is at the fucking door. Bud want to talk to Timothy. Oh, <clears throat> Tiffany. Goddamn me, goddamn me. And the crazy family in there going crazy like a nigga lying. As soon as that motherfucker come to the door, everybody waiting to see what Tim face look like when he see Bud at the motherfucking door. What the fuck you think he gonna look like? Y'all gonna see something you ain't never seen before. That old tough shit go out the motherfucking door. And watch this, and it's hard for a nigga to hide it. I'm gonna tell you something, nigga. You can't play punk around me, bitch. You make one funny move, uh, fuck around, lick your fingernail, or, 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 or wink your eyebrow, or, or, or throw your hands a certain way in. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> they catch it. Real niggas catch that shit. Especially you been in penitentiary long enough, but guys, get, check this out. A lot of people think it's a motherfucking game till they go down there. Uh, I seen these young niggas go down there and get, get used and abused. The, the tough ones, the disobedient ones, the, the mean ones, the ones that mama and them can't tell them a bitch ass thing. The steppers, the sliders, the drills teams, <laughs> the whole drill team marching their way to the motherfucking penitentiary. Yeah, one by one with them sticks in their hand. Yeah, that part. Uh. So, um, you know, I want to tell, and I'm glad you're talking to the youth, man, and we, because you know, I, I, I look at it like this, man. You can't really tell a motherfucker who already thirty nothing. You know what I'm talking about? A lot of people. They can, they can say. No, no. I, I say this. Let me say this. Let me say Go this. Ahead. People that's like thirty already. Right, right. A lot of times they already set in their ways. People who are over thirty. So I like it. I, I, we can talk to them too, cause it ain't never too. You ain't never too late in life to wake up and get a lesson. You, you, you can wake up at any time, but this right. really for them niggas who really trying to go get them stripes and put that prison on their resume, cause you know that's a thing that's going on a lot right now too. With like prison on our resume, some niggas want prison on their resume. I'm man. talking about what kind of job to get you. Oh, they, no, I'm saying they. Now watch this. Yeah. Ah, yeah, that went over your head. I'm just trying yeah. to find out what yeah. good is gonna do. Yeah. You understand me, on? Uh, um, but 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 you gotta believe what's on a nigga resume though. Mm. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. Uh, it's hard to get that blood off your hands, man. Once it's on there. Shit. That 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 that's. So I ask God to forgive me for all my sins. Shit, but uh, but you just said something that just just, just struck a nerve, goddamn me on. Uh, everybody want that on their red hot well, I mean what I mean I mean what, they want a burglary of habitation? Uh nigga, don't nobody want burglary of a building no more? Uh goddamn, don't nobody want no dope case no more? Goddamn, everybody want murder charges? Uh this shit crazy. Yeah. These niggas brainwashed for real. I mean, I ain't gonna even lie. Uh, I, I was checking it out. I, I, I mean, I'm, I see, uh, I ain't never been scared of nothing. I ain't scared. Niggas just got me paranoid. And guess what? The sad thing about it, everybody paranoid. Everybody think everybody up to something. When I was coming up, everybody was trying to uh, make a hustle. Nigga didn't give a damn, but nigga gave me uh, um, 10 dime sacks of weed to make some money with. A nigga was looking for a hustle. The sad thing about it, just like what you said, everybody trying to get that on their resume. The sad thing about it, niggas don't even want to work no more. Everybody want to hit a lick. Everybody want to hit a lick on somebody. Everybody want to run. Uh, I just talked to a lady the other day. She was at my, shout out to, shout out to everybody that came out to the um, Bad Boys to Men. <clears throat> it was a good event that had we had last week, and a lady gave a discussion about how her son went to go hit a lick. At 16, he got himself killed when he ran up and there with the rest of the young ones. And that was a lesson for the other two brothers to learn. That's a hard lesson to learn. But everybody want to hit a lick. Don't nobody want to hustle. Why don't nobody want to hustle no more? Hustle some hoe shit, too? God damn. Hustling is hoe shit, too? Man, I just swear to God, when they took the whoopings out the goddamn out of the house, that, that did it. I don't believe in whooping. Don't get me wrong, I got a son right there, 17 years old. I ain't whooped his ass yet, but I'm ready to. But but I, but he ain't, you know, I just I just can't find myself, you know, uh. I don't think that never saw nothing. I got one, I got one hit that get the whole point across. One. One good one. <laughs> I don't need 15 and 20 with a belt. 
I damn, I got one. I swear to God, take the wind out. I be crawling on the motherfucking floor, um, looking for the breath. You hear me? I swear to God, it went over there. I <laughs> watched him try to catch it. But, um, everybody want to hit a lick, man. Uh, everybody want to go to the penitentiary because they let these suckers come home. That's lollipops. In the land of the lollipops, they let the suckers come home. You hear what I said, though? In the land of the lollipops, <laughs> they let the suckers come home. And the suckers fool the niggas that's out here. And they come home and make these niggas, I mean, shit. I don't know what's wrong with the young niggas. That, and then they better wonder why they partner. I tell y'all what, y'all, so do me a favor. It, it, since I can get a chance to shout out them right quick, do me a favor. Every man that he came home from the penitentiary, watch him. Just, just sit back and watch him. Why, why, I mean, watch him. Any nigga that talk fast always up to something. Just, that, that's, 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 that's one thing to look out for. The fast mouth and the hand talk. Say, yeah, nigga, I just, you know, say, nigga, hey, cuz I'm down there, them, them niggas down there say, yeah, all that. It's that penitentiary shit. All you gotta do is pay attention. It's, it's, it's on them. Uh, a lady got mad the other day when her son came home. She brought him to see me, and he ran up there, and he went to talking to me, and she was like, you know, woo, 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 yeah, that's my son, you know, you know. The nigga had, he had his penitentiary on. You understand me? When you been there and done that, you know the game. So goddamn, he approached me. I'm on my, you know, every time I approach uh, uh, somebody that come home from the penitentiary, I, I, I go into mentor mode. <laughs> I go into uh, the doctor, like the psychology mode. You understand me? I watch him. Actions first. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and I, when he went to talk, and I was like, goddamn, I said, what's she? What you like about that penitentiary down there? She, nigga, I don't think she, I just want to, I just like the such and such. I said, yeah, that's what's up. That shit was good, wasn't it? Yeah, he liked the, some food he named. I said, yeah, that shit was good, wasn't it, down there? Yeah, that, that, that motherfucker. Then she turned around and she said, what you think? I said, oh, he going back to the penitentiary. He going, he going back to the penitentiary. And guess what? She got mad immediately at me. She she put up her defense, her chest went down. <laughs> She no, he ain't, nigga. Fuck you, mean he? Yeah, he, yeah, he going back to the penitentiary. Ask him where he at right now. That part, that part. But she threw up a defense so hard, so high, threw up a wall so high that I couldn't even get. She thought I couldn't get over. Bitch, I already had my rope through over the wall when you built it, cause I already knew the game. It ain't nothing I liked about the penitentiary, not a motherfucking thing. I just had to deal with it. I just had to survive in there. One thing, like I said, you know, us talking to the younger generation, man, because they, they don't be knowing this stuff be real. And I be thinking like about the details, the intricate details of everyday living being put into the system. Like, you know, how when you go to the military, the way you eat change, the way you shower, the way you do everything change. Let's talk about a time when you was having trouble finding food to eat, did that? Did you ever have to face that in there? Oh, most definitely. Yeah. Most definitely. Uh, say, uh, walk around that way. Don't get in there. Give me that loaf of bread right there. Throw it to me. Yeah. Uh, late at night, this is what I eat all night. Right here. Uh, let me tell y'all youngsters something. God damn it, when you end up in, the, in, in, the, in a place like that and you burn your bridges to get there, See, that's what a lot of youngsters don't do. They don't understand that. That's the first thing they do. Uh, a lot of youngsters that's in there that burnt their bridges. They people don't fuck with them no more. Uh, I mean, this is the majority. Now, a lot of them go down there and they get spoiled, pampered, and my, oh, my little baby dad, I gotta go take him some money. I'm gonna go stand in this line. I'm gonna go give him a visit. I'm gonna go write him a card. Now, nah, fuck all of that. that one, thing about, one thing about prison, uh, one luxury that you miss out of anything in the world is getting up walking to the icebox. <laughs> Shit. Huh? I wish I could. I many nights I laid them up. Damn, well, I just go there and fish you something to eat. Getting up walking to the icebox. Uh, and getting what you want. Not what you got in your cell. Getting what you want to eat. Uh, yeah, I, I ended up in the system of... Um, Many times, but one thing I always say is it gotta be a hustle in this motherfucker somewhere without me taking something. Or or or, or, or having no money. Shit, if I can't get a dollar on my book, shit, uh 
By the time I get $20, I got to be in there down in 20 days or 20 months. Got somebody might send me $20. Now I get lucky in the motherfucker. Uh, but thank God I was always blessed with um, a strong woman on my side every time. I never went to jail without having a woman on my team. I never hit that hoe without having some, some somebody that loved me. I heard it, that I probably done fucked over the most. Still, when I get in a situation, they say, God damn, I'm finna go check on purse. You understand me? Uh, but y'all yeah, ended up in this motherfucking. What I used to do when I get in there and I ain't had nothing to eat, first thing I do, I hit that county. Niggas think I'm a motherfucking pig. First thing you do, you go in there, ain't nobody on your way, bitch. Don't, don't act like y'all niggas go in there on point. You nigga go in there, bitch, um, dope there, um, drunk, alcoholic there, um, I ain't on your game, out of there. Goddamn niggas in that bitch looking like a whole rag dog. Uh, Everybody just say you look good when you get out. Cause you been eating good and you been laying your ass up doing not a motherfucking thing. But uh, I get up in this motherfucker, man, uh, first, I'ma tell you something. When you go in that bitch and you, you coming down off the street high, the street foods and everything, it's one, it's one habit go to another. Now if you ain't got the drug, my next habit, without the weed and the drugs and all that shit, my next habit is eating. Shit. Y'all see me when I come. It ain't, ain't don't gotta take me number six weeks. I can take a six week eating spree. You need to look at me and say, God damn, nigga, what you been doing? She eating and not doing shit. <laughs> but working at it, eating. That's all I do. That's all prison jail got to offer. But uh, I go in this motherfucker. The first thing I graduated from, one habit to another. Now this habit, I'm hungry every motherfucking day. I wake up hungry. I jump up or doing. They get breakfast. Run to that motherfucker. I'm, the nigga looking around like a hungry dog, like one of these little puppies that didn't lost something to eat. Just looking around like a motherfucker off everybody tray. I'm talking about I'm scared like a motherfucker. Say, say, you ain't gonna eat that? I know a new nigga asking for yet. Say, y'all, uh, um, I just got in here. Everybody that ain't gonna eat what's on your tray, man. Can I, can I get that? I ain't doing no trip. I ain't doing no trip. No want no trouble. Can I get what you ain't gonna eat? Please, sir. Thank y'all. I go back to eat. Niggas get to come on. Say, here you go. Appreciate you, man. I appreciate you. Take one out. Oh, you want this too? Huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, put that shit on there. Yeah, got now, nah, now, nah, I don't eat that shit. I want the peas. Yeah, oh yeah, I take them potatoes though. Give me them beans. I do, and I and it, it start working for that was my hustle. That was my first little hustle. I take the bread. I grab all the bread. I got cocky. I got me like two weeks in, and you know my thing was to steal the bread. They gonna send two loaves in there, but bitch, y'all only getting one. I'm going to take the other loaf and put it up in my seat. I ain't got no commissary, but I can eat bread all night. And they had this bread called potato bread. That's the best bread I ever tasted in my motherfucking life. Miss Birds, that potato bread is the shit. Uh, when I got hooked on the potato bread, I would snatch it off the court and the white boys look at me like, God damn it, he does that every day. So every night I grabbed the bread, I ate off his bread, I survived off the land. It's called living off the land. That's what it's called. You got to know how to survive. You got niggas in there say, man, uh, they don't feed you shit. You, you a grown motherfucking man. What I'm going to do with a spoon of goddamn peas? A spoon of beans. That's all you're going to get. Huh. Move that on down. That's it. You get one scoop. You don't get one scoop of anything. You, I'm a grown motherfucking man. How I'm going to eat off of that? They're going to feed you at 5 o'clock. What you going to do from 5 to 3 in the morning again? The next morning. Six and seven the next morning from three. When your, your last meal come in around like four, five, that's it. It ain't no more eating until tomorrow breakfast. A nigga hungry at seven o'clock. By eight or nine, shit. Hey, nigga, look. And then you got these niggas sitting around with money, <laughs> eating good. You, you, you start hustling. Niggas ain't gonna admit it. Niggas ain't gonna admit this. When they go down there and they ain't got nothing to eat and they gotta live off the land, first thing they do is see who living good. And some of these niggas get cool with the niggas they say standing in the line, coming out the line with the food. Oh, that, yeah, I got me one right there. That's gonna be my partner. Cuz, cuz, you, you, you still want you still want to play them dominoes? Yeah, you still, cuz, you still think, you ready for that chess game? Oh, my nigga, let's go, let's go. Yeah. Say, uh, Nigga, bring a shot of that coffee with you. Oh, I got you, I got you. I see you, nigga. Look at you going to the store. Real niggas just be on the air fishing. 
Me, I, on, on nigga ass, one thing to do, uh, when you see a nigga making money to boost his ego up, you want a partner, want a friend, you already know nigga ain't shit, but he got that goddamn bread. One thing I know, all I got is bread. <laughs> you hear me? <laughs> Y'all will catch on in a minute. <laughs> I got lost in the sauce, man. Yeah. Check this out, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Say, yeah. Them niggas got that bread, all I got is bread. But anyway, um, niggas go to fishing. Niggas go to fishing. Niggas, and you real niggas can't say when you get in there and you ain't got it. See, we talking to the ain't got it niggas. I done been the ain't got it niggas. God damn, I wish I could go with my bag over there. I still got receipts, niggas. With, 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 my, with, my, with my money on my books. Y'all can look at the 2700 I kept on mine. I ain't go no lower than 2500 the last time I went down through there. Shit, I was on my extortion like a motherfucker from way out fishing from outside the world. I didn't have to spend my money. I worked in the child house. What? I didn't have to live off the... I didn't have to... What? I, I didn't have to go... I didn't have to spend my money and I got full. Every, one thing about doing time, let me tell you something, man. If you want to create a monster, one thing about doing time, you got to have something to eat. You can do time on a full stomach. Anybody. Play easy. Only if you fool. Everybody know. Y'all niggas know. Tell, tell the niggas I ain't lying. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a goddamn me urban politician sign or something. Tell them I ain't lying. Nigga, long as you fool. Shit. Nigga, like, how can you starve in the man? What? Niggas starve in the penitentiary. Fuck you talking about? Niggas was starved down there. You was out there because you need to start eating, homie. Shit, all I can eat what they put on the tray. <laughs> so you need to start washing drawers or socks or something around this motherfucking nigga. Tell niggas you do laundry. Tell niggas you wash t-shirts. Start with t-shirts. Don't start with drawers. <laughs> start with a nigga t-shirt. Now you know when a nigga throw his t-shirt, he gonna throw his boxes in there too. Y'all already know. But it ain't just boxes, really. It's just motherfucking, well. I, I mean, I, I really think a nigga ought to watch his own goddamn boxes. But a nigga throw his gym shorts in there and let you scrub them motherfuckers too. But them niggas throw their boxes in here, yeah, nigga. She hit you in the face like that loaf of bread. You be like, ah, damn. Yeah, watch that for me, cuz. Oh, all right. Uh, I got a bag of chips and soup for you, nigga. Oh, all right. Oh, shit. Cuz nigga trying to get full. Nigga just want to get full, man. Some niggas in there starving. And just like the dope, man. They, they pray off the weak. Cuz, say, cuz, uh, you want to, uh, <laughs> I know it. <laughs> they, say, cuz, you want to make you a dollar too? Okay, I, I, come on, god damn, what you waiting for? Say, man, say, man, uh, it's, it's sad niggas suck a dick before they star. You hear me? Shit. Now, I'm glad you talked about that, urban politicians, because shit, food, food is a major motherfucking part of life. Niggas, niggas cannot live without it. Shit, if, if you, you a bad motherfucker if you can't. But I'm going to tell you something down there, man, hey, uh, I'ma tell y'all how raw it was on Ferguson. Tales from a crib. Y'all look it up. Look it up on YouTube. Um, Ferguson the Uni, man. Where, where, where one of the laws was starving a nigga so bad down there for sexual favors. <laughs> huh? Oh, it's all types of ways to starve. Uh, see, you know, cause these niggas, I, I wanna, you know, I'm gonna tell you. Yeah. It's all type of ways to starve. The man wouldn't get a man nothing to eat. Shit, unless he had, did a sex work and he would star these motherfuckers. Let me tell y'all youngsters something. You can end up in all type of situations down there that y'all don't even know about. Tricks, traps. Eating is a whole part of life. And you got laws that'll put you in a place where niggas, they won't even give you nothing to eat. Shit, ain't got to give you shit to eat. Them niggas won't give you a piece of paper to write home, nigga. You be sitting in that motherfucker, all you see is a motherfucking hole in the floor. And you ask yourself, what the fuck is the hole in the floor in the middle of the floor for? Well, that's where you shit it. You don't got a toilet. All you got is this um, 40 degree cell and a toilet paper gown on. A toilet paper gown, that's that shit they give you when you go to the motherfucking hospital. And you say, put that robe on when you come back, take your drawers off and just have a robe on. You be like, God damn, I'm naked like what? Well, that's all you got in there. Naked in the motherfucker, sitting there in that toilet paper, that little piece of sheet, freezing your motherfucking ass out. Oh, we still talking about food. Don't let me lose y'all in the sauce. 
I'm gonna tell you something. Right back there in that little place I'm talking about, we call it the dungeon. They call it solitary confinement. They call it SIG. It's, de it's designed to destroy your mind. Uh, let's talk about their eating habits. How do they eat back there? Well, they can't get their hustle on. They can't get their hustle on back there. They back there where they got to depend on whatever's on the motherfucking tray. <laughs> it's what I'm eating. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all. Uh, you get a full scoop <laughs> when you're in the line. Shit, you get a half a scoop when you back there. So you think about that scoop that that nigga already seen. It ain't shit all up. You just one scoop. God damn, I'm going to give you one scoop. Well, they get a half of that one scoop that you do get, that you crying about. Them niggas back there looking like motherfucking greyhounds. Oh, 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 but it gets worse. Let me introduce the world to something that they, they have never heard of before. Uh, prisoners know it. Only the bad actors know it. Only niggas that's ever did solitary confinement time know what I'm finna talk about. Uh, it's a fool back there, man, that'll, that'll fuck you up for the rest of your life. It's a fool that they'll give you back there. That um, you feel like you eating a uh, uh, a bag of vomit, a uh, 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 pile of vomit. It's like everything. Food loaf. <laughs> food loaf. Food loaf. Food loaf. Nigga got that food loaf. Oh shit! What kind he got today? They got that nigga motherfucking on. That nigga got the breakfast. What you got there in the breakfast? Food loaf? Food loaf. Let me give y'all the recipe to food loaf. Well, in prison, there's a, sched a, a scheduled motherfucking um, diet every day. There's a scheduled meal every day in the penitentiary. Well, that scheduled meal every day for all you bad actors, you know, they still act bad back. Because niggas act bad even when you lock them down. Oh, let me tell y'all what that's called, what I'm talking about. That's called jail inside of jail. We'll talk about next. Jail inside of jail. Oh, just because you're in prison, that don't mean you locked down yet. You're just in prison. You can still go to jail inside of prison. Yeah, it's a jail inside the jail, niggas. Yeah, <laughs> real talk. But anyway, they got this thing called food loaf where they get these niggas back there and starve them out. And what they do, they take that daily meal, whatever's on schedule to eat that day after they cook them trays, they take all that shit and they put it together like a motherfucking hog. They slop that shit up together, then they put it inside the oven and they cook it. And it look like a quiche. And then they cut that shit and they put that shit in the motherfucker, they burn that shit. Yeah, they, ain't, they don't never give you no, they, sometimes they give you some soft and sometimes they give you some hard. <laughs> that part. Yeah, there. And when they put that shit in that motherfucker, you get in and be in a little tin fall. Every nigga that's locked down, that's been in the position that I've been in, when you didn't go went to jail inside the jail, you know what I'm talking about. Man, that's the horrible taste in the goddamn world. Say, man, don't you know they they'll, they'll feed you that shit for months. They'll feed you that shit so much, nigga, you start eating that shit like you some motherfucking hog or something. Because that's all it is, a slop. It's slop. And they give you months of that shit, nigga. You get back there, get to acting like you tough. So you got niggas, when you put them in situations like that, they still, they adjust to it, they adapt to it. And then just like being in the regular world, once they get back, they get back and doing their own shit, their own tricks, they get themselves back in the same trouble. You got niggas that get in trouble, go to the penitentiary, get in trouble in the penitentiary, then they end up going to jail in the penitentiary. Then they go to jail in the penitentiary, then they get in trouble in the jail that's in the jail in the penitentiary. How can you get in jail, trouble in the jail? You got niggas that throw shit and piss on the laws when they walk by. They say that shit in their corner for months and weeks and have shit and piss stacked up in that little corner right there waiting on the law. Wait on there's just one month that they don't like. That's how they end up eating shit like that for the rest of it. Cause all you gotta do is come back here and tell me one time you dump, you just, you just dash urban politician. Oh, I'ma get you, ho. Don't let me be the loud nigga and you didn't dare, did not come to work and then find out and the nigga urban come and say, man, what happened, man? Man, you know the nigga, nigga in cell 12, uh, he dashed me earlier. Oh, all right, I got that on. I got, matter of fact, let me change this diet right now. I'm giving that whole food load for the next goddamn me on uh, two months. <laughs> Now put that nigga on a 90-day food loaf.
Yeah. And if he and if he say something about it, tell the captain we're gonna put him on another 90 day right after that. What? And then when he come up, we just gonna say he did something again. We're gonna put him on another night. We'll starve his little motherfucking ass out. Y'all are going there and looking at that bitch, you see that nigga tailbone. They don't have to believe. Keep 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 your comments coming. Keep your comments coming, cause keep them coming, cause believe me, you don't have to believe me. I, I shit, I could have just made that up. But I guarantee you, just let one nigga hear what I just said, he gonna tell you he ain't make that up. Say any penitentiary over the world, y'all tell him, food loaf is real. Yeah. Food loaf kills. For sure, uh. for sure, for sure. So nah, man, you know, going into these units, man, this is what people don't understand, they gotta know. I never been there, I only got the stories from close friends, okay. family members. Okay. People I grew, you know, niggas that I, Politic with, kick right. with, rappers, right. da, da 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 Coming in there, man, they shaving your head. Off the top. If you in Texas state prison. Say, yes, sir. You got to strip naked, right? Off the bat. Off the bat. Um, tell me what it's like going to, that, to these prisons in Texas and the racial divide that comes. That I heard that's a big thing. That's what I've been told. The, the racial divide as soon as you walk in that motherfucker is um, crazy. Um, most definitely. Um, that's any way you go, but I'm gonna I'm I'm fuck you up though. The racism is not really what they think it is. They, they saved the white boys. Y'all got lucky, you white boys got lucky. Y'all yeah. got lucky again, y'all got a good strike when it come down. It depends on what type of white boy you is. Um, on the race thing, niggas and Mexicans, are they gonna buy y'all ass up off the rip? You understand me? Now, nah, matter of fact, my bad, I'm sorry. They gonna throw all them motherfuckers in there together off the rip. They gonna take the white boys out. They gonna pick the little white boy. Racism, um, on any unit you hit, the white man run it. Uh, it, it, ain't, it ain't now uh, SA, Negro, or nothing that run a, a state penitentiary. Niggas ain't never owned a plantation in Texas. Cause that's all them is, a plantation. Niggas, there ain't no white man, ain't no Mexican or nothing on them. But they been working with them for years. Uh, there's more, there's more Hispanics that work in the system than anything. The sad thing, well, hell, uh, the motherfucking, uh, y'all know, you, what did they call it? Nigerians? Shit. They done flooded it. They done flooded it. You know, they, they find a good job and they feel like that's, that's the best thing going. They go inside these systems and they work. Um, say racism, it's a bad, it's a bad piece, man. Uh, you, you, you really got to distinguish it for yourself because the sad thing about it, it be some young niggas that be on some bullshit too. You dig what I'm saying? When you get in there, uh, it's really every man for itself. But uh, I done went to units, man, where uh, the racism shows. Shout out to all them boys over there on John R. Lindsay unit. I don't even know if Lindsay unit is still put up, man. When I was on, when I was on Lindsay unit, that that's the first time I seen some white boys try nigga. You know what I'm saying? And they and they they tried me. Now, I was a fool right off the rip when I came off on Lindsay Unit. Lindsay Unit, when I, as soon as I stepped off the bus, I was called to the back. I, I just got there. I hadn't did a motherfucking thing. I traveled there and that let me know. Uh, that's that's the first real, real. Y'all you, you, got that? Shit. <laughs> Shit. Y'all white boys got that one. Racism? Boy, I, I didn't seen it at its finest. <clears throat> I seen white boys do what they said a nigga wouldn't dare do. A white boy wouldn't dare do to a nigga. Shit. Try a nigga in any type of motherfucking way they, they see fit. I've, I've been to one of them motherfuckers. I went to John R. Lindsay Unit in Jacksboro, Texas. Say it again. Jacksboro, Texas. The Gunboro. <laughs> yeah, um. When I stepped out the bus, man, I guess my, my record followed me down there to this unit. Um, you got your paperwork in your hand as soon as you come off the bus. So as soon as I got off the bus, I'm riding on the bus with everybody. We're on our way to John R. Lindsay Unit. I'm going to go do me a quick 99 months on it. I got nine months left. I'm going to knock off over here. Um, I step off the bus, man. I see this team of white boys down there and, 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 and with their shirts and shit off. And wear their shirts on and they had this, this paper in their hand. Everybody pulled up and everybody got off the bus and they told everybody to stand in the motherfucking line. Get out of them. Get naked, niggas. Get down to your boxers. All right, shit, everybody down to their boxes. And then motherfucker raised the paper up. He said, um, Percy Demerson. I'm like, shit, that's me. I'm, I'm, back. I'm just the first one in line. You better, oh, shit. 
I walk up to see Miss Jim, follow my, follow them, follow them right there. And we walk, oh, and by like five white boys, they walk me, they walk me, took me to where they wanted to take me to the little old room. I get off the side there and they sit around in a little short ass, bitch ass, racist white boy walked up on me. He said, uh, Dearest, he said, uh, uh, are we gonna have a problem with you over here? No, sir, I just got off the bus. What do you mean? He said, well, it looks like you're a problem everywhere you go. But he said, well, you know, we don't care about the paperwork over here. He said, we'll put the hands on you over here. He said, we just want you to know that. And I looked at him. He said, you understand me? I said, yeah, all right, man. <laughs> That's what's up. He said, well, get on back out in the line. I said, shit. I walked out, man, I was mad, I'm like, what the fuck was that about? So when I came, stood back in the line, everybody was out there, and they didn't call no, they, they, look, I'm waiting for them to call the next motherfucker. Well, don't nobody else get called. So I'm like, what was that about? Shit. Then my partner, what, 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 what happened, man? Shit. He said, what they say, good? I ain't say shit, nigga, you want to talk to me, I ain't say nothing. <laughs> you know, I ain't say nothing, that's all I kept, they ain't say nothing, bro. You say, all right, damn. Um. I went to the I went to the dormitories, man. I had I had about like I see I met about a couple of niggas in there that wasn't didn't know none of them, none of them square business. This this all was all new to me. I knew I was in a whole new environment. When I walked in this motherfucker, all I seen was white boys. I said, damn. I ain't never walked in the motherfucking door and see nothing but white boys, nothing nothing but. And, and about three, three or four black heads jumped up. About two black heads popped up. Out. I spotted them out of nowhere. You spot black and on white anywhere. You hear me? Yeah, facts. You, you never mix the dirties with the whites. The darks with the whites. Never. You never. You never mix your darks with the whites when you wash. When it's time to clean up. You put the whites with the whites and the darks with the darks. But um, anyway, I walked in there, man. And, uh, I seen one of my partners. He said, "Oh, purse, purse. Come, where you get her, man? I just got off the bus." He like, yeah, yeah, say, say, oh, you know you gotta stay over there two weeks before you go to come. So he said, I'm gonna bring some shit over there. I say, bad, bad. I'm like, damn, right off the bus, now I hit a lick. Yeah. First the white boy tried to run me hot. Now he hit a lick on the way. Somebody didn't recognize me and they said they got the broom, they gonna come through and holler at me. Um. He came through, man, my partner came through with this mop bucket, man. He came through with the mop bucket, he says, yeah, man. I see, he say, purse, purse, come on. I said, oh, there was my homeboy. Goddamn, I run up there and he gave me about like five soups, some chips. Goddamn, me two cigarettes. I'm like, damn, bet. I walk, I put the little shit in my locker. I told you, food is a necessity. <laughs> got to have it. You got to have it. Man, I got damn me on. They call Red. Red call, I go outside to go play basketball with the niggas. I get out there and go to balling with the niggas. We start to rig, do our Red call. I get to know the niggas that I'm balling with, I'm hooping. Um, we go back out inside the motherfucking um. They call Rick up, we go back inside the um. The, the, um, the whatever the pod they had us in and um. I walk in, man, I'm chilling, goddamn me. I decide to, let me go on, bust open these bag of chips. Go down and open up my locker. And everything gone. Mm. Now, maybe I'm sitting on the wrong motherfucking bunk or something. Maybe I'm sitting on the wrong bed or something. It might not be my bunk or something. Yes. Hold on. Nigga, my shit not in my motherfucking locker. Okay, okay. So now, I'm ears and eyes. I'm ears and eyes, so I'm you know, now I'm watching who watching me. So I play real, I play real good chess, real okay. good chess. Okay, you playing chess. Now, I okay. got it. Now, when you saw that they hit your locker, it's gone. Are you instantly like, I gotta go find out who got it, or is it like Time I'm to play in a chess. bad spot, huh? Time to play chess. Okay. Never, never, I'm in a bad spot. Okay. Um, I know what you're talking about when you say I'm in a bad spot. Hell no. She, um, I, I, my, my, my ears, my ears go open, man. My eyes get to looking, cause my thing is this: when you start playing chess, you gotta make the first move and stay on it. My first move is this: to look down there again and say, "Damn, 
And then when I say damn, I'm going to look and see who's watching me and I'm going to see who's trying to ignore me too. You hear me? I'm watching everywhere. Damn, damn, man. What's up, dude? You all right? Purse, what's up, cuz? Everything good? Okay, I already see what's going on. Say, man, y'all look out, man. Somebody over here went inside my motherfucking lock and took my shit. I swear to God. I need to get my shit back over here. I need to come back. I need to show back up. That's all I got to say. Cool. Nobody else said, all right. So, I think that, that was my first. That was my first going fishing. That was my first. My first. That was my second chest move. I was told that the white boys. Don't nobody over here get nothing to eat until they're here for two weeks. Then you go to the store and get you some. I'm sitting down here and I'm goddamn about like five beds down. I see a pile of white boys. They piled up. Now, my chess game, we've been at a stalemate all day. Ain't nobody been there make no moves. I ain't seen no plays made. But see, I know one motherfucking thing. Nigga, I've been doing time too motherfucking long. Niggas don't eat till it get dark. You hear me? <laughs> yeah, it was time to eat. Yeah, that when niggas get home, you gotta wait till it's time to eat. They, they ain't gonna eat right now. And I swear to God. First time I heard a motherfucking... Uh, any goddamn thing. And, and, and I, had my, I had my line after all day. Ain't caught nothing all day. Then here go the sun going down. And wham! I got something on the hook. I heard some rattling. I heard some motherfucking chips. And I heard some motherfucking cheese. I heard some soups over there. So here on my eye, I get to looking. Oh yeah, that's on that's my shit. Yeah, that's my shit right there. That's my shit. Damn, it's about like it's about like six, seven white boys standing around in a circle. They finna bust my shit down and eat it up. None of these niggas. I had one nigga, cause you remember who you were. Cause you remember who you were. I know you I know you watched me too. If you if you still alive, you remember who you were. I say, cuz. I say, say, one nigga that I quiet nigga, but I knew he was out, he probably be alright. I don't want you to help me do a motherfucking thing. But I ain't just gonna approach the situation by myself, cause I know how white boys get in. They'll jump your motherfucking ass if it's just you. <laughs> you hear me? I told my partner, I said, say, you ain't my partner at that time. I said, say, I'm, I said, come look out for him. He said, what's up? I said, I knew it. I knew I had the right one. I had been watching him too, just on gangster shit. Just in case something jump out. I said, say, yeah. I said, man, come hold me down real quick. I'm finna go see what these white boys know. I think the white boys took my shit, man. He said, oh shit, Ben, come on. Come on, hell yeah. He said, hell yeah. I said, oh yeah. Hell yeah, I got me. Yeah, said, that was a good catch. We got down, we burned down there. The nigga, the nigga on beast mode off the rip, so yeah. Oh, you on what I'm on? You boy, you don't know you cracking me up. We get down there. I said, say, look at him. I said, I said, give me my shit. White boys tell, tell me, what, what are you talking about? I said, that's my shit right there, man. Give me my shit, man. Y'all, y'all, y'all went in my lock and took my shit. The white boy jumped up and said, hey man, we ain't took him a lot, bitch. Ho. I, I take off on him. I don't I don't do no motherfucking talking. I whoop the white boy all the way to the bunk and I and I banged him up so bad the doctor's head all up against the wall, the bitch folded up. I come up off of him. His partner said, hey man, what's going on? What's going on? Oh, you didn't just see that? Huh, bitch? I go to mopping him up. I take off on him. Smoking that gang. Uh, I seen one soup in the bag of chips left. I need that. Like every politician said, food is a must. You don't know what a nigga do to eat. <laughs> Shit. I can't let a nigga take my bread. <laughs> in no type of way. Uh, bam, later on that day, I, I smoked them. Uh, come to find out the white boys was Urban Aaron Brotherhoods. They from Aaron. Shout out to them Aaron Brotherhoods out there. All the ones keep it. Aaron Brotherhood, the Aaron Circle. Yeah, uh, the White Knights, uh, the 11 Trays. Uh, if y'all know what 11 Trays is, that means the 11 letter in the alphabet three times. I done met them all. I said it again. The 11 letter in the alphabet three times. Uh, 
And it's a lot of them. You, they got, you think they're in some five dudes Hoover Crip gang or some shit. Or some kind of Crip shit. That is not a Crip sign, niggas. That's 11 Trey. Shout out to the best thing going when it come down to the white boys, a racist unit. The Woods. Shout out to them Pecker Woods. I fucks with the Pecker Woods. The Pecker Woods is the best thing going when it come to the white boys. That's the white nigga. That's a white nigga. <laughs> I know y'all probably don't like this. That's a little stepping on the race. You know, y'all want to be white and nothing else. They don't want nothing to do with nigga on their shit, but y'all know how you act. Y'all act just, hey, man, bro. Bro, y'all see them every day raised around them. They, you can't stop them. Um, that's the best thing going, man. Uh, it's 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 a dog eat dog world in that motherfucker. You hear me? Cause I I think like on the outside looking in, man. Sometimes people start getting a, a thing in their head, especially like with the youth, man. Some people kind of glorify prison, hmm. as uh -huh. in like making it seem like this the cool place to be. I eat, it's like, I've heard people say, like, I eat for free, I sleep for free. Hmm. They they kind of put that type of sentiment on it. So some people look at it like, man, if I go to prison, man, when I come home, they're going to have some respect for me. I'm going to have a little bit of clout. I'm going to have a little bit of honor. Hey, I can say, man, I did that time, man. Uh, you know, going in there and facing what you faced, what would you say was the hardest unit in Texas? Hmm. Where I was at, Ferguson unit. The where I was at, I don't care. I mean, shout out to them niggas on Cofield. Shout out to them niggas on Beto. Shout out to them niggas on Darrington. Them, I'm not gonna throw nobody else on there. That's it. Cofield, Beto, Darrington, Ferguson number one. What's the hard? What? What? I wasn't. Point? But my thing is this: I can't speak on them because I wasn't there. Yeah. You dig what I'm saying? But I did do time on Ferguson. Ferguson is an STG unit. Everybody know that's where the rascals at. Fuck you talking about. Now you quit. Don't talk about you old niggas unit. Cofield, that's an old nigga unit. Beto, that's an old nigga unit. Darrington, that's an old nigga unit. Ferguson, that's a young nigga unit. Shit. Ain't no sleep, old niggas. <laughs> and it ain't no room for the weak. Uh. You in the fucking lines then. You you around niggas that's supposed to be in the pros by now. You around niggas that should be on the basketball court dunking on Jordan or shit. Uh. You around youngsters. 18 to 25 years old. You know what I'm saying? The limit on Ferguson was 17 to 23. Say, let me tell you something, man. You in the prime of your time around your 20s. But then they moved it up to 18 to 27. <laughs> Say, man, and you imagine how cold you was at 27? Shit. You know how cold I was at 22? Shit. But them youngsters say, them little youngsters be like G.I. Joe action figure men over there. Everybody must is where they supposed to be and can't nobody tell nobody shit. I was on a unit where nigga, nigga, shit, my mama couldn't tell me nothing. Nigga, fuck, who you talking about? OG. OG, who was you? Who? Nigga, man, get that old ass nigga. Wait for it, nigga. For nigga over there and stomp that nigga, 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 little nigga's big in a motherfucker, fighting hard in a bitch. You, you got fresh legs over there, fresh hands over there. Everything fresh when it comes. They, them youngsters. It's a security threat group unit. That's what it stands for. STG, security threat group. This is where if you end up on this motherfucker, you done did something, you ain't had no motherfucking business. In the, on, on, watch this. On the regular units. This is the ghetto of penitentiaries. This is the hood. This is where we don't give a fuck if you call your mama and daddy. This is where you can't tell her. Go tell her loud. They're going to kill you in here. This is a place you scared to tell the police. If, if you being extorted. If you being raped. You now the law's going to tell you. Because that boy just came there and told it on y'all. Yeah. You out of there. This is a place where you can't go tell shit. This is a place where it ain't no motherfucking angel tree, niggas. And they got a lot of you young niggas, they waiting on you young niggas. But let me give you a thing about it. it, ain't just young niggas, it's old niggas in there too. You young niggas look real good to them old niggas that been there. My homeboy just had, shout out to my nigga on, um, shout out to my nigga on Ferguson Chronicles, man. Shout out to that boy OG Hollywood, man. Ferguson Chronicles, man, you know, um, good work. They had a, um, a homecoming this weekend where everybody went to go play golf. Nice, nice show up, man. Shout out to that man. Uh, but I'm saying that to say this, man. Uh, 
You don't end up on that motherfucker list. You got a life sentence. Man, let me tell you where the fuck you up. Urban politician, man, is so many. So many. Youngsters with life sentence. Like it ain't shit. They running around that motherfucker with life, life, life. Them little murders, that little step and the little drilling y'all doing, shit. They just throwing them boys away. Say, man, it fucked me up. Every time I got put in a cell with somebody, I already had life. How much time you got? See, I got life sentence. I'm like, God damn, do everybody on this motherfucking block got a life? It's like every time you ask me, I see, you know, I really don't ask niggas what time. You know, but unless you're in the cell with me. Mm -hmm. How long you been? I mean, 18, everybody got 18 years, everybody got 20 years. God damn. I say, man, let me tell you something. I, remember, I told niggas all the time, I said, man, I got five years. How, how much time I'm going to do on that? Now I'm looking at two. I might do two on this five, gonna go to the half. So I'm going to ride that and be quiet. Shit. I said, oh, shit, you going to do that whole five? Yeah, stupid ass nigga. Say, cuz, check this out. I got five motherfucking years. I know I gotta make parole. You know, they always let you out. He said, yeah, yeah, you gonna get on parole. Say, how much time you I got five? I said, how much you gonna do? He said, oh, no, nah, you gonna do that whole five over there. Another dumb ass nigga that don't know the law. Uh, one thing them niggas knew, that was called Gilligan's Island. Ain't no getting off that motherfucker. Let me tell you something. That when you that bitch is called Gilligan's Island. When you hit Ferguson, <laughs> I try to tell him. See, you can go to all these other little units in Texas and, and just and just hop and skip and, and la la your motherfucking way around. But your ass get in, end up on Ferguson, bitch. It ain't no transfer. You gonna end up on transit. And I was talking about transit a while ago. Transit where all the scary bitch ass niggas go that's trying to get us getting raped and, and sexual and every type of shit. They hide on transit, you know. They hide on the transit row. Uh. Ain't no escape from Gilligan Island. When you hit that motherfucker, shit. You got them old niggas over there trying to get the fuck from over there. Huh? Watch this. You got some young niggas over there. Shit. My thing about them young niggas, they stay horny. They don't give a fuck what they, they come in their adolescence. Half of them motherfuckers come from the juvenile. Half the them motherfuckers don't give a damn. Any type of sexual favor, jump up, anything to get their dick with, turn them on, shit. You can get four or five and say, man, he's got, got, got a punk down there, shit. Them niggas, them niggas ain't had no, them niggas been locked up since they 14, 13, and they ain't got switched from juvenile, because that's where they sent half of them, from Clemens Jr. to Ferguson. Fresh, fresh out of juvenile. Oh, you probably go to first. Depends on how much time you got. How much time you got, shit? I got, I got. Oh, let me tell you, they do 30 in the egg over there. Gang banging and life sentences. That's it. Egg time, life sentence, and gang banging. It's the only way you can get them to Ferguson. Ain't no other type of way. You just don't end up on that motherfucker. You done lied, told somebody you, you, you're doing this, you got a tattoo on you, you in the game. Oh, you have one of these units, watch this, thinking you tough, nigga. That's what it be. They send you niggas to these little old units, your mama didn't be coming down there and see y'all on, and y'all be here, and y'all over me, I'm running this shit over here, mama, this shit got damn me, because you ain't, because you ain't no world. Let me tell you something, big homie, huh? These niggas got to stay on a transit unit for two years before they hit the penitentiary. Half these niggas go home within that two years before they even go to the penitentiary. Mm. Uh, by the time them niggas go to these little transit units, they swear they tell coming home, man. Where you come from? I just came out of San Trias unit. Well, that's not no penitentiary. That's the can. I call them can. That old Sanchez, that old Middleton, that Hutchinson, that huge shit. All of that, that ain't them the cans, nigga. When your ass hit them balls and you see that motherfucking castle <laughs> with that barbed wire around it, yeah, look like you're in old King's Castle with a lot of barbed wire around it. Out of there. Then you know, nigga, you made it to the big leagues. But one thing about Ferguson, I tell you, niggas, you end up over there, these niggas be, these niggas be jumping off three row, nigga. On top of they landing on they motherfucking head to get from. I ain't seen nigga hang they self in they cell to get from over there. I ain't seen nigga jump from the top motherfucking tier and hit that bitch and, and splat like a goddamn egg. Don't want to be there. Can't take the pressure over there. One thing about them young niggas, when they bring that pressure to you, they is not letting up. They don't find out one of them niggas and rape you and you didn't say nothing. Shit. When you come back, you got his partner with him. Them niggas rape you for three and four years over there, you won't see a motherfucking thing. Because you know why you ain't going to say nothing? Shit, because who going to do something? 
One thing I keep telling these niggas, you end up on that motherfucker. I'm trying to, I'm not trying to scare you straight. I'm trying to tell you the motherfucking truth. Cause I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell y'all um something down here in Fort Worth. Can I give Fort Worth people uh in Dallas a, a whole motherfucking lesson? Um, uh, our plantations down there in the system are already ready for us. Your area code will tell you what plantation you go to. You already have a plantation planted for you before you born. When you get her. My every last one of my kids, I got a son on Ferguson right now. My big brother went to Ferguson. She, I ended up, we belong to Master Ferguson unit. That's Master Ferguson plantation. You dig what I'm saying? He been on that shit. He been owning the, the, the slaves on this part of the plantation, this part of the map. And nigga, if you living on somebody's land, you living on somebody's land if you don't own it, nigga. <laughs> that part. I'm just saying, though. And you don't know who own that land. And probably somebody on that piece of land got some state property. <laughs> Bars. Yeah, I catch that later. <laughs> got some state property somewhere. Because half you niggas, you wonder, it's over. Don't y'all know that I, I heard niggas say that day, man, we got like 13, seven prisons down here where we from. What? Nigga, we got 120 some prisons down here where I'm at, nigga. Fuck are you talking about? We got we the only state with with the most penitentiaries in it. Shit. Everywhere you look is a plantation here. We we down south. Nigga, we was the last ones to know that we was free slaves. They were running plantations like one shit down here, and they still exist to these days. But the sad thing, these niggas ain't gonna know it's real till they end up down there, and they end up standing on that back dock, butt naked with chains on them, looking like a real motherfucking slave now. Cause I don't give a damn. Like the man said, when you get there, they gonna cheat, gonna shave your motherfucking head like a sheep, nigga. All them little dreadlocks and all that nappy shit you young niggas be wearing that you that you grow for three and four and five years, waiting for your shit to get long, you can find it, all that's gone. Oh, nigga, I ain't, I ain't gonna let him cut my hair, nigga. Shut your bitch ass up. Cuz, get out of here. Ain't nothing funny when I talk. You dig what I'm saying? Ain't nothing funny about when I'm talking. I'm for real. Nigga, slap your motherfucking ass in the face and, and tell you you're gonna sit your ass in that chair, niggas. You understand me? And you're gonna get your motherfucking hair cut. Yeah, nigga, you're gonna sit in that chair with no motherfucking goddamn shoe, nothing on but a pearl draw. Nigga, gonna tell you, take them motherfuckers off, throw you a little old bitty piece of bar soap, that goddamn little bitch, tell you get over there and jump under that water. As soon as you get back there. Now, first, let's run you niggas off that bus. Bluebird time. When they run your ass to that back gate, you gonna know you a slave then. You gonna know it. Niggas be laughing all, all the way to the penitentiary. Yeah, nigga. On the bus. Hey, cuz, where, where you from? Where you from, cuz? Sir, 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 sir. I'm the nigga on her riding like this. Mad at the motherfucking world. Listening to all this bullshit around me. The world becomes a TV. Shit. My TV now is to watch what the fuck around me. It's a movie every motherfucking day. It's my movie. I'm watching it. I'm not the star in it. Sometimes I'm the star in it. Sometimes I just watch it. But this is what I gotta deal with. What's around me, shit. Snakes. Gorillas, <laughs> roaches, and rat ass niggas. That's all around this motherfucker. Nothing else. Shit, and now I gotta live in this motherfucker with every last one of these motherfuckers. But say, the game, when you jump off that bus and they tell you niggas to get nuts to butt, <laughs> shit, nigga get nuts to butt. I know y'all know it. I know it. I know you nigga looking at me like shit. I remember those shit, damn nigga. Ain't lying. Yeah, put your nuts on they butt, nigga. Get in there close. We want the motherfucking sardine pack, nigga. Pack that shit in there like sardines, nigga. Pack in. Everybody get together, bunch up, scoot up, scoot up, goddamn it. Nigga standing in a line. One one nigga in front of the other nigga. One nigga in front of the other nigga. Put your hands to your side and, and scoot up some. Well, goddamn, how close you want me to get? Nuts to his butt. Excuse me, sir, what you just say? He said, get your goddamn ass up, son. I know it, motherfucker. Them laws in there, they put your ass up in that motherfucker. You have another nigga standing behind you, breathing on your motherfucking neck, nigga. And then you better not throw an elbow in that nigga. Put a square business nigga behind you, bitch. You don't know what to do. You ain't finna start shit. You already know the nigga behind you will beat the brakes off your little bitty punk ass. 
You don't even know this nigga. He came off another block. He wasn't on the block you was on when you left jail. When you get in there, you say, God damn. Yeah. That's who you handcuffed to, nigga. Fuck you talking about. That type of shit. And now you've been, you been in your cell, capping with your partners, eating good, mama feeding you every day, you're getting your little letters, getting your visits, all that shit over with. Oh, you tough. You tough because you got a lot of support. You tough because they waiting in that line to come see your motherfucking ass. You tough because you get your little old commissary. You tough because you get your little mail. You tough because baby come up there and see you and bring the baby up there to see you. You tough now because you ain't failed no time yet. And then you get in there and you get you some motherfucking time. And next time she see you, nigga, you looking like motherfucking Mr. Peanut. <laughs> that part. Oh, yeah, baby, I had to. Yeah, now you didn't have to do a motherfucking thing. You was going to do it. <laughs> Shit. It wasn't none of your decision, nigga, what you had to do. I'm coming to this bitch talking about what you, you don't do a motherfucking thing, but what they tell you. Boy, that's your <laughs> square business. <laughs> you don't do a motherfucking thing but what they tell you. And all you tough niggas. I mean, I, I, man, I swear to God. <clears throat> Shout out to my son, Little Percy. Uh, last night I talked to my son for a minute. I just looked around the cell. You know, he, he's in it doing his little thug fizz on his fizz on. You know, uh, you know, and, 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 I, and I sit there and I'm like, and, I, and it hurt me to my heart. I'll be gone when he come home. I, I, unless it's a motherfucking fast and the youth around this motherfucker. And see, that's one thing the kids don't even pay attention to. They think that the people they leave behind gonna be here when they get there. Shit. Man, I, I'm gonna tell y'all youngster son, if you love your mama, the one that's standing in that line, come see you, shoot you them letters, get you that conversary. Shit, if you love her, you better think about her before you get there. Huh? Shit, you better think about her before you get there, because guess what? The, the, the worst feeling in the world, besides not having nothing to eat, is to lose one of your people behind them balls. The worst feeling. Yeah, so I was going to say, man, you know, talking to, to, the, to the people that's out here moving around today, man. And, okay. And the rap and hip-hop culture, you know, we were just looking at some drill music. You know, I like the okay. music myself. I do like it. Uh, I don't know why. I, I rock with it. It jam, <laughs> it jam, you can't deny it, man. I just say a jam but is a jam. Let's what go. What they on these songs saying, doing, living, it's free and easy to do it out here. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Then a lot of them figured, find out they not built for getting told you got to do 25 or 30. <laughs> Whether you're robbing, hmm. killing, shooting, hmm. you go on a drill with somebody, everybody get caught but you. And you decide, hey, bro, I got to take some niggas with me and we can get less of time. Or if you trapping, whatever you doing, the word snitching be real heavy right now. Shit, uh. So let, it, let's it, tell the, the, the young ones who living like this, hey, man, you going to the penitentiary, with a snitch jacket on your back, I advise you keep yourself out these situations. But how do they handle snitches when you hit their yard and everything, man, oh, in, um, in Texas? Powerful, powerful question. Uh, the gang gang, the room with the gang gang, y'all got to know that your gang gang ain't going to be your gang thing when it's time for them chains. Uh, I haven't I have met a person yet. I ain't, well, I ain't met a youngster yet. Well, well, well let, me, let me start that over. It ain't such a thing as snitching no more. I just put it like that. Niggas just gonna tell it on you. Huh? Ain't, ain't no snitching, ain't no snitching, ain't no snitching. Nigga, your ass know this nigga. Everybody think they pot the stiff. Everybody think these niggas with these guns are 100. Everybody think everybody sliding and drilling is keeping you 1,000 when it's time for that drill to slide. God damn it, when it's time to sign that line, Hey man, the, the, the worst thing, youngster, listen to me, man, please. Everybody that's in a gang, that listen to OG person, if you're in a gang, if you're around, uh, you know, y them your partners. Them your partners. Shit. Black Lives Matter to a nigga owe him some money. <laughs> huh? Yeah, Black Lives Matter to it's time to go to jail, nigga. Uh. Because um, niggas going to tell it on you. The worst thing to find out is when you go somewhere, my nigga, and everybody get jammed. 
and you think in your heart, oh, nigga, them niggas ain't gonna shit. Hell no, nah, man. That nigga, nigga, little boo boo, them, 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 I got caught with boo boo, them, such and such. Yeah? Shit. But boo boo, them just got out. Uh. But you don't know boo boo, them signed the affidavits, nigga. They got out. They, they told me that you did it up. Yeah. Hell no, nah, nigga. Hell no. Nah. Boo boo, them wouldn't do that. Well, shit, they ain't got no motherfucking bond money. Shit. Oh, they want to know who did it. Your dumb ass went and said you don't know. Well, to them, you do know. To them, all three of you motherfuckers know. And to one of you motherfuckers say somebody done it, all you motherfuckers going to jail tonight. But what you don't know, nigga, you just on a 72-hour investigation, nigga. You keep your mouth shut, you might can go walk free. But I know you fuck niggas. You niggas break within 24 minutes. Shit. <laughs> say. <laughs> Say, they tell these niggas a pen ain't gonna be their pad for the rest of their life, these niggas start singing. They give them niggas that pen and pad, they tell them niggas to start singing. You hear me? They tell them niggas the pen ain't gonna be their pad for the rest of their life, then they give them a pen and a pad. Shit, them niggas start singing. Get dangerous, man. Come on, man. <laughs> say, y'all to catch that. Let them come over there and tell you, nigga, say, you know what? That shit that y'all just got caught up in? Oh, nigga, you ain't never. That's a life sentence. That pen, the penitentiary, you gonna get a life there. So you might as well get used to that mat with that little pad you're sleeping on down there. Yeah. But I tell you what, you can save your motherfucking self right now. Here you go. Here you go, right here. Don't, don't save yourself right here. Don't let them niggas take you down. Don't let them boys go with you. You a good kid. You belong in school. You supposed to be doing what you supposed to be doing. Don't get out and get yourself covered. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know it. Uh, next thing you know, all you, Boo Boo, and everybody get the same motherfucking time, nigga. Don't nobody get nothing different. All they need for you to say that you knew what the fuck was going on. They just need for you to put the icing on the cake, nigga. Use the motherfucking nigga. They needed to break. All you had to do is put yourself at the scene of the motherfucking crime, nigga. That's all they waiting on you to do. <laughs> and when they hit you with that time, told you, nigga, that pen was going to be your pad. That's where you're going to be staying there for the next couple of years. But yeah, bitch, you couldn't even hold a house. You was already crying in a hole over time. God, please, come on, man. Get me out of here, man. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> you, you know what you're in there for. Some fucked up shit. Because everybody don't work clean. Motherfucker, you niggas can't beat cybersecurity, niggas. Stupid ass niggas. <laughs> oh, hold on. Shh. I don't want to say nothing about that. <laughs> anyway, anyway, you niggas can't beat it. Them niggas you waste time. Niggas go back in the future and tell you where you when you walked out the house, went to the store, and watch your bitch ass for your whole day to go by. Come on, cuz, catch up. You niggas behind, you niggas still looking out of cameras. Them niggas looking up in space. Fuck y'all niggas talking about. Wake up, brothers. We 30 years behind on technology. We need to catch up. God damn it. But anyway, um, say, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. These niggas gonna tell it. I ain't met it. I told a nigga the other day. God damn, I don't know if was that you I told. Give me watch it. Let me show y'all something. Look at that. I don't mind wasting. I'm just showing y'all. Y'all catch this picture. Hold on. Shit. I ain't met a nigga that can hold water yet. Fuck y'all talking about. I ain't met a nigga that can hold water yet. Oh, he can he ain't gonna break a nigga hold his water. Shit. Show me. Show me. Put it in his hand. Pour the water in his hand and show me a nigga that can hold water. I ain't met now. If you holding water in 2022, nigga, you the dumbest motherfucker nigga because niggas telling it. Niggas giving three and going free. Oh, show. My bad. Another slip. Niggas giving three and going free. Niggas telling on three niggas you can go home. <laughs> we don't want just you and your partner. Do you know anything else? Do you got us anything else? You give three, <laughs> you go free. Uh, well, I know where uh, urban politician them trap is. Nah, nigga. <laughs> mm. I know where OG Percy's little old, little old did this did this back in the day. <laughs> you got anything else for? I'm just saying though, these are just hereditary answers. But my thing is this: at the same time, uh, niggas can't hold water. Oh, y'all thought I didn't know the game? Shit, nigga, I ain't never, nigga, I ain't, 
uh, say, man, I ain't never believed in magic. <laughs> Shit. Until I seen my dog get on the stand and the motherfucker turned into a snake. <laughs> That's magic. That's magic. Nigga got up there and told every motherfucking thing. I ain't never believed in magic till I seen it for my own motherfucking self. A nigga get up there and say, that man, let the let the let the jury um recognize that my um defendant has recognized the um, the victim the uh, plaintiff in the room today, the um yeah, the accused can 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 you point him out? Do you see him in this courtroom right now? And he'd be like, Well, can you show us who you talking about? Yeah, I'm gonna start looking back. Who the fuck are you pointing at? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I know they ain't pointing. Ain't you. Cause, say y'all, let me tell y'all something. That little statement I just said, can you point them out? That's, that's the best thing going in the courtroom now. Niggas is pointing niggas out. Rat on the Shit. If you think they gonna take the charges for you, you keep that. Why do you young niggas think everybody going to the penitentiary? <laughs> Why you think when everybody get caught, everybody caught, ain't nobody going home? Somebody can go home, but guess what? That that was back in the days. Back in the days, if we got caught doing something, we told it on us, everybody gonna go, we got who we need. Shit. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> when we catch you niggas, shit, niggas like throwing a motherfucking fish net on you. We taking all y'all with them. You hear me? Yeah, we need, we need to get all of them. We need to put all of them at the scene of the crime place, all of them there. Yeah, they was all there. Yeah, he said, this, man, who was driving? He was driving. Yeah, what was he? he the other one was in the back seat, and he, yeah, and the other one was on the passenger side, riding shotgun with the shotgun. <laughs> Fire. <laughs> riding shotgun with the shotgun. Yeah, and guess what? Only one bullet killed somebody. But guess what? Every last one of them motherfuckers get in the same time like the nigga that shot the gun. That's what you young niggas don't know. Oh, they throwing you niggas away like candy. Oh, y'all sweet right now. Y'all sweet, dumb, and, and, and sour. Y'all all y'all all, y all, all your buzz in. Oh, oh, what is it? He's number four. The fuck is the number four? Oh, yeah, you got class rank. You know, when you go in there, they find what kind of level you in. What is it now? He's number four. What is that? Low class. Bitch don't pay no taxes. <laughs> Nothing to society. Worthless. He's a number four. And what the fuck is he? Oh, that's number seven. What, 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 why he a number seven? I'm a number four. Cause bitch, he work upstairs at the corporate office down here. He just made a mistake. He pay taxes every year. He got a nice car, house, pay for a ranch over and shit like that. He just in the, going to penitentiary too. You just got yourself 40 years. <laughs> he got four. Y'all got the same motherfucking crime. You a number four. <laughs> That's a number seven. Yeah. You better, you gotta pay attention. Uh, the same rules that apply for everybody. That's a lie. Uh, the law is a lie. Uh, I, I, I got to ask, I got to understand one thing, y'all. I don't know, maybe I'm stupid or something. Maybe I just don't understand what's, what's been on. I just need some help on this. Mm -hmm. They say you're innocent and proven to proven guilty, right? Yeah. Then why we got to sit in jail? Huh? I'm innocent. And to proven guilty, why do I got to stay behind these balls if I'm innocent? If I'm so innocent, why do I got to pay to get out? You said I'm innocent until proven get the law. Hold on, I'm trying to figure that. I'm trying maybe I missed maybe something went wrong. I, innocent until proven guilty. Not you guilty until you prove you're innocent. Now, that, now, that I can, now I understand I gotta stay in jail. Why is that? Because I'm guilty until they prove me innocent. And so I stay until I But the law say I'm innocent until proven guilty. But half you niggas belong behind them bars, bitch. I wouldn't let you niggas ass out either. I go to jail every time I see something, you stupid motherfucker. I said, ooh, I knew one nigga was so crazy. I seen him let him out of jail, nigga took out running across down there in Dallas, ran out court across the motherfucking freeway. I watched that nigga in the window. I was on like the 16th floor in the Dawson unit. And I was standing inside the window, and they let this crazy motherfucker out. That nigga took out, I watched that nigga run all the way across. I said, God damn. They don't know that man was crazy. That man was gonna go out there and kill somebody. Yeah, that man stayed in solitary back there for down to 10, 11 months. They just threw his little ass out in the street. But let me tell y'all something. These niggas ain't loyal, you homies. Be your own self, man. Be your own self. Let me tell y'all something. I tell my son all the time. Cuz, I don't fuck with flunkies. <laughs> I don't fuck with niggas that gotta do everything. Nah, I don't walk around the week. You understand? Even my kids. Bitch, if you, yeah, you gotta catch on. 
I don't play the sniggling in the back yet. Now get your mother. I, I, I don't play none of this. I'm square business. When I'm talking real, you're going to respect the game. Because if you think it's funny, it'll happen to you, nigga. I don't put nothing past nobody. If you think that's funny, ain't nothing funny to look at. I don't want nobody looking at me and laugh. And then it happened to you. Oh, you thought it was funny when I was talking. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, it's always the ones that end up in a situation and find out it's too late. I'm the hood nigga tell you, it ain't, it ain't too late if you heard me say this. Huh? <laughs> it ain't too late. Young, you know, you old nigga, if y'all don't get it, hey, see, hey. Uh, say, you'll get it. So, um, so when you walk on the yard, because, huh? you know, you put it out there to us like, the whole prison will know you snitched, and they gonna- Oh, 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 for you snitches? Yeah. Oh, for you, uh, man, come on, man. Uh, let, 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 let's get them niggas, let's bag them niggas right now. Snitch, man, re, st snitches is what they say it is. Uh, tell us from a crib. One time, man, I was on my unit, man, and we decided, you know, we finna get rid of all the snitches. Uh, t see, niggas know you snitches. Niggas don't let you niggas sit around. You got, you got OG person, I might wanna sell me some weed here. You got cuz over here might want to sell him some dip or you got maybe niggas over here running pool tabs. You got niggas over here gambling over here. And, and, and with a snitch on the block, we can't do nothing. A snitch will tell everything. Let me tell you niggas something. You niggas be getting on these buses quiet and shit thinking a nigga don't know what you niggas did. <laughs> let me tell a snitch something. A snitch, let me tell a snitch something. Every nigga that go titted on somebody, let me tell y'all something. Um, there's somebody down there waiting that's going to know you. Your record from the county jail gonna follow you all the way to prison. You gonna catch hell every where you you gonna have to catch that every where you go. You gonna have to go up there and let them laws know that I told it on somebody. And they they gonna they gonna have to put you somewhere by your mother fucking self. They gonna put you in a place. Let me help you out. Let me help you out since y'all don't think I I know these things. It's called PC. Y'all know what that is? That's called protected custody. They're going to protect you. They're going to put you somewhere where you can, yeah. And guess what? They're going to put you around your kind. They got a thing now, you know, uh, uh, urban, urban politicians, they got a thing now where they, um, they, um, they evaluate people. They put motherfuckers, you know, according to your case, your crime. You know, if your life is in, in trouble or you're in danger or something, they put these motherfucking pussy-ass niggas around each other. When they, get, they, when they go on a certain block, we had one over there on Ferguson called A Block. We already know what's on A Block. That's where they put, you know, when the word get out, that's where they put the snitches. The, the, the punks, the niggas that can't protect themselves. said, you end up on A block. I go down and see some real niggas. Be, Cause what you, I don't even look in A block. It be so many, it be so much going on. I can't nigga posted up at that door. I, was, I said, look at these niggas, these niggas stuck on it. Cause it ain't no men in there, y'all. Y'all get off that window, man. Oh, no, I'm talking to my homeboy. No, you ain't, bitch. You was talking to that nigga, that punk over there, nigga. Say, them niggas be down there today, it be going down. It go down that motherfucker. I don't fuck with them. Yeah. Hey, um, but, um, it, it's, it's a cold get out in that place, man. I don't want now. You don't to think, nigga, it's a free ride, man. You don't want to go to that motherfucker and get, get took advantage of, man. Keep your head on. Be, man, let me tell you something, man. A, the, a gangster to me is a man that can think for himself. That's a gangster to me. Any nigga that follow a nigga, shit, you just a follower, nigga. <laughs> yeah. You hear me? You just a follower. And, I don't, and let me tell y'all something. You'll never get no respect from a real one if you always play in the backfield. Nigga, be, even be with them or be ahead of them. Most likely try to get ahead. Don't never hang around niggas that can't think nothing smarter than you. Never hang around a nigga you can tell what to do. Never hang around no nigga that you can't learn nothing from. You hear me? A broke nigga's a burden. You dig what I'm saying? And that's real talk, man. Uh, OG person, man. Talk to me.